Hello, my name is Adam Bin, and today I would like to implement a thin wall Jakarta EE microprofile service and push it to the uh, serverless Payara Cloud. So for this purpose, I would like to use the um, Jakarta E8 micro profile, which is on my GitHub account. So um, yeah, I use it for stock Jakarta E projects. And now and today I would use it to create a thin war to push it to the serverless Payara cloud. So uh, let's start with the application. So set up Jakarta E8 project. I think fish is the right name. And uh, inside the fish folder, there are this the microservice in the system test. So what I would like to do is to just go to the fish microservice and open this with uh, an editor. So now what happened? I got a Maven, a trivial Maven POM with two dependencies. There is one Jakarta 8 API and the MicroProfile API. And there is also a configuration. So enjoy. Um, my micro enjoy micro profile config uh, uh, configuration, and then uh, there is JaxRS configuration which exposes the path resources, and what I also have is just a single uh, ping resource boundary uh, JaxRS resource, and to make it a little bit more complicated or complex, uh, I would like to introduce a fish service here, fish service Java, and the fish service has a method string message and forgot the brackets and this should be um, this ping resource is Jakarta -E. so enjoy Jakarta -E with micro profile 3 which is actually not true it is already it could be 4 on Payara micro and uh, now I can say re uh, return on serverless Payara cloud okay looks good so now just inject the service inject fish service service and then message so now um, okay should work so let's build a project and uh, I don't clean it just package the Maven project and what you will see is uh, a war yeah fish war was created and the war is a thin war so it is five kilobyte so now let's push push the five kilobytes to the cloud so um, how to do that so what I will what I have to do is to open the cloud account which I already have and this is my account it is um, for me Adam test so the creation was painless it's basically uh, just register with uh, email and then I have here zero namespaces so create a new one and the name the project is going to be air hacks air hacks and the stage is going to be now to call it dev or why not TV it doesn't matter so um, go to the name the um, so now was the uh, the stage is created air hex TV and um, and what's uh, what's interesting this is actually a Kubernetes namespace so the Payara cloud is a kind of uh, Kubernetes operator so uh, I can have a multiple namespace which are namespaces which are isolated and every namespace would be an app comprising multiple microservices okay so let's try to upload the application so um de deploy immediately and i would like to deploy my fish war and just go for it so upload so and now it's de uh, deploying the app it can take a while and here we see that uh, it is uh, deployed so what i notice is it can take up to one minute until the name becomes available so Let's see. So this one is already there. The application is deployed, but let's see whether it is actually available. So let's switch to here. And uh, it should be resources slash ping. Because uh, in our, we had, this was the ping, this is the get, and this are the resources. So, um, okay, so let's see. Still not available. 
so it can take a while. I assume this is the name service because the application is already here deployed and now it's available. Enjoy Jakarta E with MicroProfile 4 on serverless Payara Cloud. So now, uh, what's also interesting, the configuration here. So if we go here, you see that I can actually change the path. But uh, even more interesting, there is here the enjoy. And the enjoy comes from, it was parsed my MicroProfile config. So it is fully integrated. So it reads the MicroProfile config and I can change it. So let's try that. So instead of enjoy, really enjoy, enjoy. I would like to save it and I need to deploy. So now the application is configured in the next re revision and I would like to deploy the changes and uh, go back to the resource and uh, the changes are deployed and it also can uh, take a while um, until they become available. Let's see. So it's still the old service. Now it thinks, you know, we have uh, the old is uh, stopped and the new is created. So let's see. And there's Kubernetes behind that. So for that, it's it's actually really fast. <laughs> I was in Kubernetes project, so it took minutes until something was visible. So for that, So on that note, um, before it becomes available, what you can do is I, I can manage the applications. Um, we have a basic monitoring here. So if the application becomes available, you will see the changes here in the monitor. Um, I can, of course, delete and stop the applications and I can search for, for, for the logs and, of course, maintain main uh, my um, my namespaces. What uh, is lacking right now is a remote API where you can remotely just use JAXRS or sorry JAXRS REST HTTP endpoints to push to the cloud. So this would be nice and uh, yeah, because you know working with uh, with a website is um, so what what we need is kind of in infrastructure as as code. But yeah, this is the services in beta. This is not done yet. So let's see. And we have now really enjoyed Jakarta E8 with MicroProfile 4 on serverless Payara Cloud. So um, yeah, this is the problem with uh, load balances and DNS and takes a while until the you know the readiness and lightness probes kicks in. So thank you for watching. And uh, what I really like about this approach is so we have um, you know Helidon Quarkus where they uh, they they try to shift you know the the deployment at the build time. And this this approach is completely different because uh, it uses what the application servers use the best, the separation of infrastructure from the business logic. And I can create a, you know, just, just my business logic and push it to the cloud and don't care about the service. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming EHEX TV, um, EHEX IO, so video courses, projects or conferences. Thank you and bye.